welcome to The Leather Journey. Uh, today we're going to talk about a different topic, and this topic could go on for hours, but we're going to keep it short and sweet and just give you a couple of ideas. Role play. Role play is very interesting, and there are different types of role play, Like, but I'm going to give you a couple of examples. I'm dressed up in my lab coat. It's got nice big pockets to put stuff in and my stethoscope. So obviously if I'm wearing this outfit in the dungeon, I'm going to probably do, be doing some medical style play. I'm dressed up in the role of a, of a doctor. So I might uh, use my stethoscope and check someone's pulse or heartbeat, or I might do needle play. There's a lot of different types of play that center around medical play, but if you're going to be doing medical play, why not dress the part, okay? I'll, I'll walk up close and give you another example. And some of you that have watched my videos on straps know I own a Louisiana prison strap. So if I know I'm going to be using the Louisiana prison strap extensively, I might wear my Louisiana prison guard outfit. All I did was I went up online, I got a couple of authentic patches from the Louisiana Corrections Department. I took a blue dicky shirt and sewed one on one sleeve and sewed the other on a blue ball cap. And I honestly don't know if Louisiana prison guards use blue, but that's what I used. So um, if I'm gonna use my prison strap, I might dress up in my prison guard outfit. If I'm gonna do food play, I might wear my houndstooth pants and, and uh, my chef's outfit and dress up like a chef. Uh, so there's different kinds of role play. It can be fun. You don't have to reserve it for just around Halloween time uh, for dress up. So, uh, and that's only one type of role play. Uh, another type of role play can get into relationships, but we'll save that for another time. As always, share your ideas below on uh, different types of role play. And uh, thanks for watching The Leather Journey.